To talk a little bit more about all of this, we're joined by our panel, CNN political commentator and Donald Trump supporter, Kaylee McEnany, professor of political science, Jason Johnson. Good to have both of you with us. Um, earlier this morning, another tweet that we saw from Donald Trump reads, I love watching these poor, pathetic people, pundits on television, working so hard and so seriously to try and figure me out. They can't. We are, of course, now three months out from the election. Jason, at this point, what is the benefit to Donald Trump as a candidate in remaining such a mystery, not just to the pundits, but to the voters? Well, I mean, you don't know what he's going to do, and that keeps attention on him. I think the people who tend to really support Donald Trump, they like the fact that he's unexpected. They like the fact that he doesn't sound like a politician. I think the greatest mistake he can make uh, and, and that I think he has made in the last couple of weeks is that he is constantly backtracking. And one thing that makes him original is that Donald Trump says he's a straight shooter. So if he says that Barack Obama, President Obama, founded ISIS, then give us some proof. But if he keeps saying things and backing up, it makes him seem less authentic. Makes him seem less authentic. Kaylee, as we know now, Donald Trump is saying that he was just being sarcastic about all of this. But fellow Trump supporters came on to defend those original comments. Let's take a quick listen to some of those. Conservatives do believe that it was the irresponsible planning of pulling out of troops by this administration and Hillary Clinton that led to the creation of ISIS. Well, it is true in the sense that before Obama, mm -hmm. ISIS was a almost unknown small little organization. He even called it the JV. But the, the cauldron was was set. The, 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 the dials were all twisted in the proper direction to allow this to happen. But the, the reality is... When Barack Obama left Iraq without a statement of forces and collapsed the international coalition, it gave rise to ISIS. So first, Donald Trump doubles down repeatedly. Then he says it's sarcasm. But, Kaylee, he's got all these people out there speaking on his behalf, helping to double down on those initial comments. Next, you know, what's that like for you? Does the sarcasm bother you? Well, I think two things are going on. He was being both serious and sarcastic. I think those two things are comfortable in this way. Was he sarcastic in the sense that, uh, that, that Bar Barack Obama is the founder of ISIS, his name's on the documents? That was sarcasm. Of course, his name's not on the founding documents. Is he serious in the sense that Barack Obama is the unintentional founder of ISIS because he opened a gaping hole in the Middle East uh, that they took advantage of and grew to 40,000 strong? Yes, that is very serious. But you know what was great about this comment is that for the first time this week, we actually get to talk about ISIS. And we get to talk about the fact that every single poll shows voters trust Donald Trump to handle ISIS, not Hillary Clinton. So look, I think it was both serious and sarcastic. We can get into semantics. Was Barack Obama the creator, the contributor? Uh, was he the founder? Look, that doesn't matter. What matters is voters trust Donald Trump to handle ISIS. It doesn't matter, though, but those were his exact words. He said multiple times he is the founder. And, and he is the founder in the sense that he opened a hole in the Middle East and ISIS grew to 40,000 strong. He was the unintentional founder of ISIS. Was he the actual founder of ISIS with his name on the document? No. If you take it that way, that is sarcasm. If you take it as him being the unintentional founder of ISIS, that is, in fact, serious. I want to bring in now Taryn Rosencrantz as well uh, to our discussion. She, of course, is a Democratic strategist and a supporter of Hillary Clinton. There is increased talk about ISIS, and Kaylee, Kaylee brings up some interesting points about how different voters feel about this. Donald Trump is consistently trying to hit Hillary Clinton on her time at the State Department and the way she's handled ISIS. The Clinton campaign, of course, is playing up national security as her main strength. But, but in some ways, it's looking more and more like an Achilles heel. How much of a concern is this for the campaign at this point, Taryn? Well, I, I think it's a concern for the American people, first and foremost, with Trump acting this way. I mean, it's completely reckless for him to make these kinds of statements. And I think that it seems he's almost allergic to the truth as he's going back and forth and kind of making these outrageous claims. And I think that's, you know, chipping away at people's perceptions of him. I really do. I mean, if he is going to continue to kind of give a response that my children would give, oh, I was just being sarcastic, I didn't mean to, and back and forth on very serious topics like ISIS and national security and how we're protecting ourselves and making these outrageous and reckless comments, I think all he's showing is that he's completely unfit, and I think the American people will see that. Taryn, he's talking specifically in many instances about the rise of ISIS um, while Hillary Clinton was in the State Department. How do you counter that? 
Well, I think that there was a lot of good things that have happened during her time and tenure in the State Department, including the capture of Osama bin Laden. And I think that we need to, to really focus on the fact that, yes, this was a rise. I don't think anyone can say that they have not been working and during her tenure was working and that President Obama has been working to combat the forces of ISIS and to continue to try to keep us safe. Jason, there was a scathing um, piece from the New York Times editorial board this morning about Donald Trump's behavior about the campaign, part of what they write, saying, quote, right now Mr. Trump is losing and this very likely terrifies him. Perhaps he's given up on winning through civil means and doesn't care about the consequences of his campaign of incitement. There's been a lot said about inciting people at rallies, about fanning the flames of racism, among other issues. You know, this How is, is it helping Donald Trump to only play to that base, though? If he's only going after those folks and if he's only continuing to fuel that fire, how is he going to get himself to the White House? Well, well he's not. And, and the problem is that most of what he's saying, if he can't back it up and he can't connect it to how he's actually going to run the government, people aren't going to be happy. You know, to say that the President Obama caused ISIS is the same thing as saying, well, Trump started the housing crisis because he had a couple of bad land deals. It doesn't make much sense. But if you keep using this sort of racist and hostile invective, and here's what's key. It doesn't matter if that's what Donald Trump intends it to be. If people hear it as racist, if people hear it as violent, it's his responsibility as a candidate to clarify. And if you keep cleaning up and you keep explaining, it means you're losing. He's on this suicide squad mission right now, and I don't know if he's going to be able to pull out of it in the next 90 days. Kaylee McEnany, Jason Johnson, Taryn Rosencrantz, appreciate all of you being with us today. Thanks again. Thanks. Thanks.